Hello, welcome to my channel. I am the Tulsa Astro Geek. Today I'm going to unpack some of the astronomy terms used to describe telescopes and their optics. If you're, if you're shopping for your first telescope, hopefully this will help you uh, know what the terms in the package mean or the online ad and help you determine which telescope is right for you. The first term this discuss is aperture. Aperture is a measure of the size of the primary lens or mirror a telescope, depending on the type. This is a refractor telescope, which has a lens in the front here. This aperture is measured in millimeters or inches. This is a 102 millimeter or four inch aperture uh, telescope. The the reason that it's so important is it determines the light gathering ability of the telescope. Um, you can think of light gathering by picturing a bucket set out in the rain. The larger the opening on the bucket, the faster it will collect rain and the faster it will, will fill up. Uh, light is similar, only instead of raindrops, you're collecting photons. Uh, it's important because you know, almost everything in the sky looking at at night is extremely faint. Uh, so you need all the help you can get in taking those objects, whether through an eyepiece or a camera like this one. Uh, so all else being equal, two telescopes with, uh, you know, smaller, one of the smaller diameter aperture, one of the larger aperture. If you're doing visual astronomy through an eyepiece, uh, the larger aperture you know, the, those galaxies or nebulas you're looking at in the sky will appear brighter in the eyepiece. Or if you're doing astrophotography with a camera like this, you'll be able to take your pictures faster. The next term I'll discuss is the focal length of the telescope. The focal length is the distance the light travels from the lens or primary mirror in a telescope, depending on the type to the point where it focuses the light, uh, which would be you know, where the eyepiece or the camera is. Um, this telescope has a focal length of 714 millimeters. Uh, now where I currently have an accessory attached called a focal reducer, which has additional lenses that refocus the light and effectively shorten the focal length uh, to about 540 millimeters. The next astronomy term I'll discuss is the focal length, which is simply the distance light travels from the objective lens or primary mirror to the point where it focuses the light, which is where you would place your eyepiece or camera like I have here. Uh, the native focal length on this telescope is 714 millimeters. Uh, however, I've attached an accessory right here called a focal reducer which has additional lenses, which refocus the light at a shorter focal length of about 570 millimeters. Focal length is one of the primary factors which impacts the field of view and magnification uh, of the telescope. Uh, if, you're using, doing, if you're doing visual astronomy with an eyepiece, there are a number of factors with the eyepiece construction which can determine field of view besides the focal length. With cameras, it's very simple. Um, there are only two factors to impact your field of view or magnification. And those are the focal length and the sensor size on the camera. So for this kind of camera, the field of view and apparent magnification of the images I, I take is determined entirely by the focal length of a telescope. Uh, and the longer the focal length, the smaller the field of view and the higher the magnification. Um, one of the things people make when they first get into astronomy is assuming that you always want as much magnification as possible. Um, that's not true. It depends on the kinds of targets in the sky you want to observe. Um, there are some very distant galaxies and planets that are very, very small in the sky. And for those, you do want a lot of focal length and a lot, a lot of magnification. There's also a lot of very large things in the sky, um, the moon, and there are nebulas and galaxies that actually cover more of the sky uh, 
than the moon. For those, you usually want shorter focal length and less magnification. The next astronomy term I'll discuss is focal ratio. The focal ratio is a shorthand term for discussing the light gathering ability of a telescope versus its focal length. It's determined by dividing the focal length, which is 714 millimeters uh, for this telescope, by the diameter of the objective, which is 102 millimeters on this telescope, giving a ratio of seven to one. Uh, however, we don't say that it has a focal ratio of seven to one, it's shortened to F7 or F slash seven. Uh, a telescope with a uh, lower ratio, say F4 versus F7, is said to be faster. Uh, what that means is that for the same focal length, if you're doing astrophotography, a faster telescope that is a lower focal ratio will take the same image faster than, than a slower telescope with a higher focal ratio. Uh, if you're doing visual astronomy, uh, a faster telescope will show things brighter in the eyepiece um, than a slower telescope. Uh, so especially if you're in a light polluted area, um, bigger aperture is very important to seeing anything with the brightest objects in the sky. <laughs>